Hello, and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley with Flying Cat Phillips, and here we are with a rerun. Now, before we get started on today, I would like to ask you to hit that like button, and if you like seeing my content, please subscribe. Hitting that like button will also really help the channel out. Thank you very much. And let's see, we have neutral luck, and tomorrow it's going to be sunny and clear all day. Yay! Anything else to do? Nope, let's get started. Marnie, hello. What a beautiful cat you have with you. What was your accent again? Hello, flying cat. You see this cat here? I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. How terrible. I want it. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Well, of course it could use a adorable cat. And thank you for, for all your wonderful s suggestions. I have chosen Sheldon. Since the cat is not Peach, we cannot name it Peach. And Sheldon is the winner. Well, little Sheldon, you be a good kitty now, okay? Adorable. Now, we have a few tasks for today. We are going to celebrate this being the 10th episode by watering our crops. No, no. We are going to... Plant nine parsnips, one for each episode pass, and we are going to make sure to fertilize them, so hopefully we get some good, crawl, uh, good quality parsnips out of it, which would be used for the quality crop Junimo bundle. Yes. We will check the mail. The mail will be checked, maybe. I mean, most definitely. Where's the cat? I, I don't have time to just run around the farm looking all over for the cat. Okay. Hey, I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone. But I'm snagging this from the back room of Jojo Mart. I snagged this from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. Okay, see you soon. Shane, um... Pepper Poppers. Okay, well, thank you very much, Shane. And if I'm not mistaken... Today is... Perfect! Perfect. A little too perfect. Are you a little less perfect? Today, it, I think, is Vincent's birthday, so let's double check that. And as it turns out, we are incredibly lucky. As it turns out, Vincent likes daffodils. And say hello to two daffodils. Yeah. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna just stand in front of the doorway and... Change of plants. We are not. We are going to craft the fertilizer, but we're not planting the parsnips. No. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Oh, well, thanks for the pizza. Or pepper poppers. Pepper poppers. Uh, yeah, try saying that ten times straight. Neutral luck, so... Hope nobody's looking. Is Vincent home? Hello. Vincent, I have a, uh, daffodil for you. Hello. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Oh, uh, I want to look for bugs, but Mom gets mad at me when I get all dirty. It's a tough choice. Ah, yes. Oh, is your mom home? We should probably say hello to her. What did you say? It's 9, 10 a.m. already? My goodness. Yes, I... Came all the way to see you and tell you what time it is. That's exactly it. I, I don't think I'd seriously 
do that in real life, just walk all the way to see you and wow, there are daffodils everywhere. Maybe, you know, I should go give Jody one. So I did watch a tips and trick video and one of the things is to not spend your time getting lost in everyone's homes. Is to Oh a friend Jody and uh I <laughs> I guess she does not like that. Well Jess, it's been so long since we've seen you. And it shows since you won't say anything to us. You just look at us like we're strange. Yes, we are strange. Because we made plans, and I thought they would be really good plans, and they're really not good plans. What is that? Oh, wait, I know what that is. It's for Gunther. Thank you. We are going to check the crab pot. Crab pot. Not crab's room. Crab pot. Yep. We've got some for the crab pot. Yeah, the, you can really hear those seagulls, can't you? And I don't know. Do we have 300 wood? Because fixing the bread should be great. I was really kind of looking forward to planting some parsnips. But... Hmm tough choice. I guess we could go spend more at Joja Mart, though. Wow, these daffodils are just everywhere today. Yes, that is a sign. I can find the signs. I'm very good at finding signs. Now, um, let's see. That looks like that sort of stuff. Where are we gonna put just random broken stuff? Over here. We're gonna make people walk way out of their way. Yeah. And uh, I hope you can not hear that in the background. It started to rain here. Hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. Maybe you should go to bed. What do you want? Uh, I'm gonna leave. You look like you're ready to blow up already. I just was saying hello, so. Bye, friend! Field snack! Yeah, I, I'm gonna occasionally call these granola bars. You can get them by crafting... What exactly is it? You craft them with uh, one acorn, one maple seed, one pine cone, so it's very useful. And fertilizer, two sap. We should have sap back at the house. Mm, I wonder if we have enough money to buy nine parsnips. Yeah, it's needs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine parsnip sneeds. Whatever. They're sneeds now. We just blew uh, more money than we would spend at Pierre's on them, I know. Times have been tough lately. I got laid off of my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. Oh, that's nice. I still have tons of work to do. Oh. Did you watch the game last night? Or, wait, do you even have a TV set? I'm gonna sit here and debate as to whether or not that's rude. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go through your trash can over here. And I legitimately got trash. That's fair. That is completely fair. Hi there! Do you have everything you need for the farm? Well, it doesn't matter if I did or not. You're closed today. Uh, there's nothing like a strong cup of tea in the morning. You mean English breakfast tea, right? It's, it's the English version of coffee? If you mean that. Wait, it's one o'clock! It's not morning. I mean, it might be morning for Abigail. Now, we're gonna start trying to save random stuff. Um, like this. No, we, we're not saving that. We're gonna take that to the Juno bundle. We're gonna save that. That that does seem very random. Not quite. Not quite. Yep. One, two. I don't know how much of those we need. 
one, two, Junimo bundle is flashing really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. I, I know, we overpaid for these. But like I said, I do want to, and to some degree, commemorate this being the 10th episode. Ah! And we're doing so by messing up the lawn! Yes. <laughs> we're gonna mess up the lawn. Ish. There we go. Yeah. Mess up the lawn. Mess up the lawn. Mess up the lawn. Mess up the lawn. Hit E, because I just remembered something else. Always show hit tool. Yep, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, better. Now we're not going to always mess up the lawn. And you may be wondering, why? Did you not do that already? Yes. No, uh, that's not what, I'm gonna, what I was going to say. Why did you just randomly put some other stuff in your bag? Because uh, I obviously think I have too much money and I was... Ugh. Now, let's see. I'm going to just walk around town with jalapeno poppers on my... Oh, no, field snack on my head. Yes. Ugh. We need to do something and get some money, and we need to do it pretty fast, so we're going to be forging, most likely. I was planning on forging anyway, but I was thinking I'd really have to look to get the, uh, the daffodils. And lo and behold, the daffodils, primarily for um, Vincent for his birthday, because he likes them, they just happen to be everywhere, and... We also found out something very important. Is this right? No, it's not! The daffodils for Vincent's birthday just happened to be everywhere. Crab pot. Here we go. I know it's a really good one to put in there, but I would like to get that taken care of. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we have to get actual crab pots in order to finish that. And yes, uh, so whenever you're walking around, it's best to try and have either the scythe or the sword equipped because if you happen to accidentally swing, you, hey, have a nice walk, um, yeah, well, okay, you don't use up your energy. Hey, I heard that Lewis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a real nice building. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna work on this. That would be nice. Not right now. Wow, that's expensive. That's... I think we're missing a few things. Ah, this is the right... Yeah, there we go. Well, we have all this extra stuff on hand. Hmm, I don't... I think we actually need to get more... You're probably showing a lot of interest in plants on your farm, huh? Uh, I seriously think we need to go to the mine instead. Forging would be nice, but... You know what would also be nice? A silo. A silo would be nice. So, instead, we're just going to try... Finding a few floors... Luck should not be too bad today. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh, no. No. Now, if it looks a bit messy, after a while of being in the mines, it varies from time to time. But... A fog shows up, and then a skull shows up, and it's monster infestation. And generally, that's really bad for your health. Ew, seven. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, and I'm still gonna miss what I'm aiming at. Because I'm impatient. And it does indeed look like there is a green fog rolling in. 
matter, it's just how spooky the mines are. Yeah, it's, it's so welcoming. Ah! Adventure! Hey, come here. Those guys just go back and forth, so they're easy enough to avoid. Wow. It's like a slime fest back here. Well, we need to kill you guys, sorry. You can blame Marlin for it, okay? Wow. Slow. One point at a time. Ooh, double reward! Ah, this is what we really want other than a path down. Ew, mine. And I know those rocks used twice the amount of stamina, but that one was in the way. Yes. As long as we get home in time, we are definitely going to be able to do some crafting, making up. Furnace, I mean. Which is going to be great. See, we are already have 13. Die, slime. Not hit me. There's a difference. Oh, the difference is we're almost out of energy. Yeah, we're almost out of energy, but don't worry. That one guy gave us this. We can just eat this field snack. Just never mind where it came from. I mean, uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's... Hello, slime. Goodbye, too. You were late for the uh, initiation party. Oh, wow. I haven't had that happen before. Is it gonna happen again? Ah, bugs! Wow. That's nice. And here we are in number nine, which is amazing. We may be able to do a lot today. A lot. We're going to have a busy, busy day. Busy day! Already we've had a fairly busy day. We've found out that Joja Mart is indeed... I, I, I know. I, I asked for that. <laughs> yeah. So we found out that Joja Mart really is overpriced. But... Pierre's was close. Normally I make it a point not to get anything from them, but Pierre's was... What? Chess? You received leather boots. Ah! Wait, have I been walking around barefoot this whole time? I mean, I see shoes there, but... Okay. Oh. We went down five more levels, which is highly productive. We can now... run home and pass out. I mean... We can now go in here. No, we can't go in there! We are 20 minutes too late. So we can now go in the Adventure Guild thing, I think, right? Enter the in- yep, we can now go in there. But in the meantime, we are going to run. 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 And this is us running. Yes. We are slow. Hi. I do want to try and keep uh, one of everything, and we're going to see if we can, but we also need to make some money, so there, we have to be a little bit wary of that. I know it's not fun. I still wonder where that cat is. I wonder if it's inside. That's yeah, probably going, what are you doing out there? <laughs> this doesn't get much money. This waiting on a good luck day. Still holding on to that, don't have enough for few things. Well, we're gonna sell these two, because we have a dandelion and that's what we need, and what are we gonna do? We... 
We're gonna go, we needed some. All right, let's try this again. Ernest. Now let's hold the stone on our head, drop it in there. Drop that over there. And we're promptly going to uh, set this right here. Now this will take both coal and it takes both coal and copper to smelt copper bars. And uh, let's see if you enjoyed this episode. Oh my gosh, that terrified me. Oh my gosh. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to share with a friend. And yeah, with, well, kind of pays for the parsnip seeds, doesn't it? Thank you very much. Hope you have a wonderful day. And if you like this episode, don't forget to check my Stardew Valley playlist. See if you like any of the other episodes like uh, Rummaging for Raccoons.